what is going on everybody it is Bucky and I am kind of sick right now so if I sound a little stuffy or I blow my nose during this tutorial then I guess you guys are just gonna have to deal with it but I'm gonna teach you some Java in the meantime so let's go ahead and get started actually we took a break from GUIs for the next couple of tutorials I'm, I'm gonna be teaching you something about files now you can create and modify files in Java just like most other programming languages if you guys are saying alright what exactly is a file useful for I'll give you guys the quick one two of the main thing it's useful for so far we created computer programs that use like variables and stuff like that like store the number five in X or store like the name Bucky in um, Y or something like that but once they end their program then all of these variables and methods are all gone so if we want to like keep it in a database then we actually need to like keep it in a text file so that way when they run the program again then all their information is there and they don't you know it's not just like a program that you can run once and it forgets about it that way it can store your information on the computer then when you run your program again we can automatically load the values and stuff and get them again so uh, we'll be going over it. We're actually be building a program later on, but for now, let me uh, get typing some code before I lose you guys. So let's go ahead and import the file class. So java.io.file, or you can import everything, but that's good enough. And what the file class does is this is real simple. It doesn't create files or anything. All this class does is give you info about files like whether it exists, um, it has a couple things like length, the path, the parent, stuff like that. Right now, what we're going to be doing is testing whether a file exists on our computer. And this is useful for things like if you're creating a program to make a file for the first time, if it already exists, you don't want to create one again or else it's going to delete it. So you want to see if it's there first, and then if it's there, you can like write to it. If it's not there, then you can create it. So, simple enough. What you do is type the file class. Uh, we'll name it X. You can name it whatever you want. And then type new file. And what this does is the constructor takes the path of the file. So, I actually know that I have a file in C. And you actually have to do this. Um, capitalize your directory, whatever it is. And if you do... Uh, well, I'll show you guys test is in the directory and I have a file name greg dot text right there so normally this would work and that's a valid uh, path name but the thing is you know when we're working with strings that that little backslash is the escape character so this is whenever you put this this is gonna try to escape this T and put a tab in G and stuff like this so what we need to do when we're working with path names in Windows is actually need to put two uh, backslashes like this. And when we do this, it views this as only one backslash because remember, whenever we do a backslash with a string, then it's going to try to escape it because that's just how Windows is. So actually, whenever you do uh, path names, do two backslashes if you're working with Windows. If you're working with Linux, I think it's a front slash, but I'm not sure. So now, now that we have this file, that is stored in the variable x we can do a couple things to it and what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is simply check if it exists so along with many of the built-in methods we can do if x what we just did e x and we'll just shortcut it right there if x exists and if we hover over this it says test whether the file or directory pretty much exi exists so if greg.txt exists then what do we want to do? Let's go. Ugh, stuffy nose. System out print line, and we can print something like. Um, we can actually have x dot get name, uh, and that'll be pretty cool. And we'll just add something like exist. So it'll be like Greg dot text exist. Or if it doesn't, uh, we'll insert a file that doesn't exist later, so I can tell you guys what it does and system out print line and we'll say this thing doesn't exist and make sure you almost type everything wrong so which I did so now we can go ahead 
and run this program and see what we get. It says greg.txt exists and I probably should put a space right there but I didn't. And what is going on is this. If you look at my computer right here and you go to C test and this is a C and the test is right here a file named greg.txt does exist but what if you had a file name in here like um uh, like that see that's what I could think of off the top of my head if you run this and click OK it's gonna say this thing doesn't exist so that is how you can pretty much um, look for files in their existence using the file name and the exist properties and I also tell you another one the get name pretty much to get the name of it and that's a, a quick cute little tutorial and let's see if uh, there's anything else I didn't cover and that's pretty much it for this tutorial and in the next tutorial I'm actually going to show you guys alright we already tested if it existed or not if a file doesn't exist then how do we create one I mean of course we can go to our computer right here and create a file like this but we want to create one in Java programming language so that's why I'm going to be teaching you in the next tutorial so uh, for now thank you guys for watching study this and again review one more time you create an object from the file class and as this constructor it takes the path name of the file and remember when you're working with strings you gotta escape the backslashes then you test whether it exists if it does exist run load code to do anything and if it doesn't exist then you usually in here you wanna write code to create the file but for now I just wanna let it write a little prompt saying this thing doesn't exist so thank you guys for watching I uh, hope you learned a little something uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time